Good morning everyone, Storm Chaser Vince Walty here with the daily update and before we talk about any severe weather, let's go ahead and look at yesterday where we caught this amazing supercell in southeast Minnesota live on our YouTube stream and if you're not subscribed, you're missing out, go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell icon so that you get notifications when we're live and you can see sites like this. Even in eastern Colorado, we caught this amazing time lapse of this beautiful hail producing supercell as it moved over parts of eastern Colorado toward Kit Carson, again, caught live on stream. These past couple of days, I've produced some of the most beautiful storms that I have ever seen. We have seen some pretty amazing structure. Now let's look at the areas today that could see some pretty amazing structure. It looks like we could see some pretty photogenic storms down here near Wichita Falls, down near the Red River along portions of the Oklahoma, Texas border. No real tornado threat, but we could see some high base storms that could produce some wind and hail. Slight risk for severe weather down here. Be mindful down here, folks. The HRRR composite reflectivity, which is just a guess of the model at what the radar might look like later on today, does show some storms firing down here. So this could verify and we could see some stronger to some severe weather down here. Also, if we look up here to Michigan, in the oven mitt or the lower peninsula we've got a slight risk for severe weather up here as well there is a little bit of an enhanced tornado risk up here the tornado risk is a tad bit higher than anywhere else today in this area i believe but h triple r composite reflectivity the future radar again not showing anything too terribly noteworthy but definitely something that we need to keep in our back pocket and be mindful of have a way to receive those watches and warnings now if we take a shift off to the east here you can see another slight risk. This is the third and final slight risk area. But if we look at the HRRR future radar, it does look like we could have a Boeing segment later on, or maybe even a cluster that could produce some damaging wind. In addition to severe weather, we've got a snowstorm, believe it or not, about to occur in parts of Colorado. We could get a couple of inches of snow in Denver. And keep in mind, it is the middle of May. As we go west of Denver and up into the mountains, we will see higher snowfall totals just simply due to the elevation. Most of that snowfall again is going to occur later tonight through tomorrow. That's about all I have for the daily update today. Nothing too eventful today or tomorrow or the next few days, but I will have another update tomorrow. It looks like a severe weather threat may be brewing in eastern Illinois, northwest Indiana, but I don't think it's a major threat, so I'll have more on that later. Nothing to get too terribly worried about. Uh, if you aren't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, and even join in the Discord server if you want to chat with our community of almost 500 storm-chasing fans.